Um, we trying to close that police department down. Dismantle it. Gotta go. So we'll start fresh and bring new officers in who care about the community that they're serving. Because as it stands now, the police don't live nowhere near. They live way out there, you know. And they children are not touched by what our children are touched by. Again, because the elders had already laid down the framework. You see what I'm saying? And we didn't keep the fight going. So now your generation got to do that. So I would be wrong if I didn't have your back. So that's where I stand. That's my role. Care, comfort, and to provide nourishment for my babies. And that's how we love. So when we're out doing actions and marches and stuff like that, it's important that the young people, the young kids. I was one of them kids that was born during the French Civil Rights Movement with my mother and father. So, you know, and, and that was, that's what made me, even when my generation gave up, that made me keep on fighting. You see what I'm saying? So we got to keep on going, y'all. Y'all got this. Y'all got it. And a lot of people. I made a turkey chili, ground turkey. Yeah, see? Okay. That's a meat. And some beans. So I just like to stir from the bottom, you know, to make sure you got all the good, good, good amount. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm the movement cook. And, you know, because I believe that these young men and women, they have to stay nourished in order to endure all that's being thrown at them. Because the police don't come and say, here, let me uh, let me lock her up. No, they're going to throw her head into something. You know, and the problem here is not just that they're arresting them. See, because we create the civil disobedience, so we expect the rest. But you don't have to brutalize someone. And the problem is, it was three of my sister comrades, four of my sister comrades, that was arrested on the other night. The whole damn system is guilty, guilty as hell. hell.